How about we make coffered ceiling and blender? This should be easily done and modified. So like the video before we jump into this. Let's open blender and delete everything. And you should have a ceiling surface. But we will go with a simple plane. So you can add one if you want. And change its dimensions to fit. Or go with the numbers we have here. 6 by 8 should be big enough to wiggle around. Let me turn on the wireframe because we will add some cuts on this. So hit tab for edit mode. Then with control R, add some cuts on this surface to identify the pattern you want. Because those will be the lines for the coffered ceiling. If you want to add a different pattern, maybe a dome in one area, we can go by many methods, like using loop tools to circulate a square shape, but a more easier approach is knife project. So I will select the area and inset it to get the connection lines to all corners, then select the center point and shift S to move the cursor there. Dissolve the center point with Control X. This way we can add a mesh circle from the Add menu as a second object, give it some vertex count to make it smooth, scale it around to fit inside the needed area, then, once you're done, select the ceiling surface and inside Edit Mode, hold Control and select the circle. Then from Top View, go to the Mesh menu and choose Knife Project. This will cast the circle on the plane from your view so make sure you view it right before you hit that. You can delete the circle now and dissolve and extra edges by holding shift, selecting them, and hit control, X. You can also connect any two points by hitting J to complete this mess. So have fun creating any weird pattern you want. Cause the idea here is to make those mesh edges, then turning them into curves and make the geometry on sweep profiles. To make sure we don't have any overlapping vertices, select All in Edit Mode and hit M to merge by distance, then a number will pop up at center bottom, and in our case, it's zero, so it's good to go. Now, if you go and convert this to curves from the Object menu, you will only get a rectangle, and all the inner edges are gone, which is weird. However, fixing this is easy. Just select All in Edit Mode and hit X, to remove all faces and leave only the edges, then do the convert to curve again, and it will go smooth. Once you're done with the coffered lines, we need to get some profile if you have to sweep it along ceiling curves, or we can do one by adding a plane, Select All in Edit Mode and hit M to merge at center or at cursor. Then once it's one point, we can extrude into any shape. Symmetrical ones is better here. Or you can draw half of it, then make a copy and mirror it. All up to you. So we're going to make it simple here, with a couple of steps. Then, once, we mirror the other half. Merge by distance to delete any overlapping at mid, and dissolve the center point at top. After that, select all points beside the bottom ones, and hit Control shift b to bevel the corners. And use your mouse wheel to increase the smoothness on it. The center at bottom cause we need the curve to go at that point. So we can select the bottom edge, subdivide it to add a point at mid, then select that point and hit Shift S to move the cursor there. Now from the Object tab, set Origin to Cursor on this profile and convert it to Curve. Then 
back to the ceiling, we can go into the geometry settings, then under bevel, make it on object type, and pick the profile you have. We need to fix a couple of things, so let's scale the profile down a bit to see the sweep better. The ceiling segments are not aligning with each other. To fix that, switch the curve from 3D to 2D type. The other issue we have is regarding the sweep direction. This need to be fixed inside the profile edit mode. So go there and rotate the curve by 180 degrees. Might even switch the transformation pivot to cursor if you have problem with rotating it and things should be fine. You can scale the profile in object mode to extend the sweep down, make it pop up more. You will also need another plane to fix the top part above those sweeps and to add the dome. We need to add two cuts on the new plane and make them cross at the circle center. This way, we can add a sphere that matches this size, then use the Boolean modifier on the plane to cut the circle area and finally delete the bottom half of the sphere to leave only the top cover. And that's about it. You can drop on this a wood material. Something reflective should be great. And the curves are now modified. But if you want to UV the texture, switch them to mesh and do your things once you're done with the shape. See you guys next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.